today I'm unboxing the DJI Goggles N3 and DJI FE Remote Controller 3 to see what's inside and share my first impressions. I already own a DJI Neo and I've been flying it with my DJI RC2 Remote Controller. I love the Neo so much that I haven't touched my Mavic Air 2 for months. The Neo's portability and ease of use make it my go-to drone. When the Goggles N3 were released, I decided to order them to practice FPV style flying. At $229, they're significantly cheaper than the Goggles 3, which costs $499. That lower price also made it easier to justify adding the DJI FPV Remote Controller 3, which is priced at $199. In total, I spent $428, about $70 less than just the Goggles 3 alone. I didn't purchase the motion controller this time. Maybe once I get comfortable with the Goggles and FEV remote controller, I'll consider adding it down the road. I think this setup is a good investment, especially if I decide to get the DJI's upcoming FPV drone, the Flip or the Abata 2. Now let's go ahead and open the box, see what comes with it, and talk about the Goggles N3 and a little bit on the uh, FPV Remote Controller 3. All right, let's go ahead and open the main box. Uh, it took about two weeks for DJI to send this to me. Uh, as soon as it's released in US, I placed my order, and uh, for some reason it took Forever, my drone was a lot faster than this uh, goggles. Here it is, you guys. Here are the goggles, and here's my remote controller three. All right, let's put this box aside. Let's start with the remote controller three. Basically, at $199, comparing the price of the goggles, uh, goggles and three, uh, for some reason it feels steep to me for just a controller. I mean, comparing to my RC2 comes with the screen uh, and everything. Uh, but hey, I'm not complaining. Saving a lot of money, thank God, for the price of the goggles entry. It's a simple white box. When you open it, it comes with this rather tight squeeze. <laughs> Packaging right in there. And I want to open this. Comes the controller. Uh, here are the sticks. Here's the Type C charging port. And here's the all the controls. Uh, start stop. Fairly cool recording and everything. I still have to learn this and uh, go from there. All right, let's uh, go ahead and put this aside. Oh, one more thing. It comes with this little uh, booklet type of thing. Let's see what's in this. And uh, yeah, it's like a little uh, Allen key and a little, little user manual. And uh, doesn't appear to be comes with any type of charging cord or anything. Yeah, they didn't even put a charging cord in this. Wow. <laughs> all right, this is all about this little guy, DJI Goggles N3. Let's go ahead and open this. All right. All right, excellent. Here's the packaging. Let's get this out. See what's in this little box. It's a little user manual. 
goggles and three quick start guide and here's the start of the show pretty cool packaging all right let's go ahead and get this out of this plastic wrap very cool it comes with padding uh, for the back and for the screen uh, now let's talk about the size the goggles n3 are larger than goggles 3 and are deeper uh, to accommodate glasses comfortably such as this and uh, the twist mechanism at the back similar to a bicycle helmet this ensures a snug, comfortable fit and blocks the light leakage around the goggles. The Goggles N3 features a single piece screen uh, with two eye openings. Let's go ahead and get this out. It's right here, as you see. And the screen itself is a 1080p 60 hertz display. It's not 120 hertz like the, some other uh, goggles that they make. Uh, but at 60 hertz, I think this is very usable and acceptable. Comes with a micro SD card port right here and a USB Type C port, as well as antennas, you know, uh, from left and right. Uh, and also it uses OcuSync 4 for seamless connectivity. Just like the Goggles 3, it has an integrated battery offering up to 2.7 hours of runtime. And additional features includes the head tracking for immersive FPV control, augmented reality uh, AR capabilities, and a defogger mechanism to prevent condensation during the use. As you see right here, there are some uh, fan openings. So what do you think about the FPV flying? Have you tried it before? Let me know in the comments below if you own one of these, if you tried FPVs with this, or what type of FPV you guys are flying. I'm really curious. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next Tales Take video. Have a wonderful day.